What's going on guys? It's Dafty here again with another settings video. I uh, figured I'd do another one since my last one did pretty well. Today's going to be on Counter-Strike. Uh, it's going to be some config settings, um, how to change your config, an easy way to do that for new players uh, to want to customize their config and get a good feel for the game. We're going to be doing uh, first how to play on stretch res um, on a NVIDIA graphics card. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to play stretch resolution on Counter-Strike, it's going to be how. Um, and uh, we're also going to do some CSGO settings. So sorry if this is a little rushed and unorganized. I'm just going to kind of go um, through it all as quick as I can so uh, you guys don't have to skip around. So first things first, if you want to do the uh, stretch res on CSGO and you don't want the black bars on the side, you want to play full screen, I'm um, just going to uh, right-click on your desktop here on the NVIDIA control panel. You're going to click that there. Once that opens up, which is going to take a while here, we're going to change a couple settings that are going to be pretty important. First things first, this is actually just a boost, uh, a FPS boost setting. We're going to go straight to manage 3D settings and you're going to go down to program settings and you're going to select Counter-Strike. You're going to select a lot of different uh, programs. Counter-Strike might not be the first one here, so make sure that's added. Um, and then we're going to scroll down until we find power management mode. You're going to click on that and should be default on optimal power. We're gonna change that to prefer maximum performance. So that's gonna give us a good boost FPS there. Um, and next thing we're gonna do is going to go to adjust desktop size and position. So this is what's gonna allow us to play full screen stretch res. If you've ever seen a lot of the pros or uh, maybe like a 1.6 player or something, someone who's been playing for a while, they have uh, black bars on the side of their monitor. That's gonna be this. Um, they're not gonna have their scaling on because they don't want um, their monitor to be their, their gameplay to be full screen so to avoid that you don't want black bars you're going to uh, go to scaling here and it should be on aspect ratio by default you're going to change that to four. that's what's going to allow uh, whatever aspect ratio we select in csgo it's going to scale it to full to full, to full the whole screen um, and then below this just as another added benefit for boost we're going to make sure this performs scaling here is going to be on dpu make sure that is always on g and that's going to help boost the uh, FPS as well. We're going to hit apply. Good to go. As always, please make sure your resolution um, is maxed out and your refresh rate is maxed out. Um, I'm still on a 144 hertz uh, monitor right now because my GPU is still only a 1070 Ti. So we're rocking with that, rocking with what we got, um, and make sure that's both maxed out. So uh, you're utilizing what you have. So now that that's done, we're going to hop right into CSGO. And we're going to go change our settings. So once we get to our settings, you should automatically be on a different um, a different uh, aspect ratio. You probably won't be on 4x3. You'll probably be on 6 um, You go ahead and change that to 4x3. And once that is changed, we're going to adjust the resolution. So this is kind of where it gets to preference. Um, it's all up to the player. A lot of these are going to be complete and utter garbage. Um, I do want to remind you that the when you do play in the stretch res, the game is going to feel different. It's going to feel a lot faster. It's going to make your, your mouse feel a little bit different. Um, it's going to make it feel like you, ha you have a higher DPI or a higher sense. Um, it's a little bit quicker depending on the resolution you play. So pistoling is going to be feel a little bit off. Opping is going to be feel a little bit off. Um, so just a forewarning, depending on the resolution that you play, it's going to be a bigger adjustment. The top two stretch resolutions will be the 1280 by 960 and 1280 by 1024. Currently playing on 1280 by 960. I think uh, probably what the majority of the uh, pros that play on stretch reds play on. Um, and I know a couple that play on 1280 by 1024. A lot of the face community plays on that. Um, I currently play on 1280 by 960. Um, I have my uh, things set to full screen. Uh, make sure that's on there and we're just going to scroll down and you can kind of um, take a look at my settings real quick and pause if you want to um, this is for a low level gpu but this is for competitive play as well so even if i did have a higher end I'd probably still be playing at these uh, settings to maximize performance so uh, global shadow quality is probably the only thing you want on high um, i have texture streaming disabled everything else on lower disabled besides multi-core rendering um, and multi-sampling so everything else will be pretty much disabled there's that you can pause if you the next part of the video the final part of the video is going to be the config section um, you're going to go ahead into the steam workshop 
So you're just going to open Steam up. You're going to go to Community, and you're going to go to Workshop. I'm going to link this in the, uh, in the description below if it's going to be easier for you to find it. Other than that, you can just type in Config Generator, and you're going to find the one by Crash. Crash. So um, this is probably one of the best ones I've found. Um, I don't know how updated it is, but I still use it to this day, um, and it works pretty good. So it says updated March 23rd, 20. So it hasn't been updated in over. So um, it still works. It's still it's still real good. It'll do until the release. Yes, too. That's all we need, right? Um, so we're gonna go once we have that installed and subscribed. We're going to go back into Counter Strike here, um, and we're gonna load up that map. It should take a little bit to load up your first time after downloading because it needs to load resources. Um, but I'm gonna hop right in here. As you can see, the stretch res is applied. You will notice because it is strikingly different. I know a lot of friends that come uh, over and play on my my computer. It's uh it's quite shocking to them. So this is the map. Um, it's a lot of just different things you can customize. Um, it has some bots here you can add if you want bots to shoot at um, or anything like that. Apparently they're not working. That's awesome. I said it's not not updated. Anyway, to what we wanted to get to, uh, we got the binds. Uh, we have some recommended settings. Configs, crosshairs, view model. Uh, we have your HUD settings, radar, and we have audio and video. Um, it is some of it's a little buggy, but the most important stuff uh, that you do need um, works pretty well. So we have a jump throw binds. Uh, we have a left right hand a switch key. We have open console. We can clear um, and bind all these keys here. Um, so this is completely up to you what you want to do. Um, recommended. These are just some recommended stuff if you are new and you just want to get some like better than default um, out of the box stock CSGO settings. You can kind of just jump right in this um, and hit apply and all your stuff will kind of be at least to where you need at the bare minimum. Um, all these these certain uh, default settings are not. So uh, definitely recommend if you're new. Just uh, try these out, see how you like it because it will help you kind of speed up and uh, kind of figure it out. So here the configs is a really nice uh, way to just kind of scroll through some configs and see what you like. You just kind of click through them. It'll automatically once you shoot the player, it'll automatically change um, to what you to what you want. So um, I'm running right now Terex. So uh, it's kind of just all preference, uh, all what you want, all what you prefer. Get tons of different players here. They're definitely not updated, like I said, uh, but they're definitely uh, definitely useful. Uh, I like them a lot, so it helps. I'm running Terex right now. So uh, here we can just kind of go to the crosshair, some easy crosshair settings. I would recommend just going, um, looking at some, if you don't find one you like over here, uh, go online to like a crosshair generator and just copy and paste that uh, console. You can look that up, it's really easy. Um, do that in probably 30 seconds. But this is the way, if, if you kind of customize it a little bit, you can do different dynamic ones. Um, and then the view model is probably the most important one. Uh, this is where your gun is going to be. So you can always save these configs if you want to keep something, but you kind of just shoot and click around um, until you want, until you like where your view model is. So this changes the angle of your gun uh, respective to, your, to where it is at your screen. I usually keep mine as far down and right as they possibly can. Um, some players prefer it. Other places, it's all, it's literally all preference. So um, yeah model section um, you can also copy this from the pros and we got the HUD all the stuff uh, on your HUD the colors the what's it's what it's showing how it's showing it uh, pretty simple stuff and then the radar uh, you can change how your radar looks if it's centered the size of it how it rotates well, this is gonna be the uh, config generator guys and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy playing on stretch res and hope you guys have a great one thanks